Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you, you, yeah, yes, you, the person watching this video, how to build a rest, I mean, um, a Tesco or Waitrose, anything like that. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to build that. So first you wanna find a nice part of land in your world. This is like kind of like a role play world I do. So I got like a mall thing of the, like I'm trying to like rebuild it and then I got, um school and then i got houses and then hilton which is a name i just created and made up and then that and no clue what we're doing with that i don't even know what this is i have no clue <laughs> anyway we're going to be first um let's uh get rid of everything in our inventory shall we because uh, i got a lot of bad stuff in my inventory oh my gosh i am now a creeper very lovely Anyway, yeah, we're going to be doing, we're going to start off by, first you want to find a nice p part in your area, as I already said. So we're probably going to go, I'm feeling like we should build our Tesco's just, just right here. Because I just feel like I that's a good place for a Tesco, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay, first all you need is, um, I'm, I'm going to make mine out of quartz, my Tesco's, because I feel like that would look the nicest for first. So first you want to place um, 20 blocks to the right. So let's get into it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 19, 20. There you go. So now that you've placed your 20 blocks, this is like the entrance to your Tesco's. So you want to find, try find the middle. I'm just going to guess the middle in mine. Which, so I'm just going to guess right there. After you've done that, you want to bring it in 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And do the exact same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom. So this is where they get their shopping carts and all of that inside here. Next, bring it kind of like out, out of this way type thing. So we want to do um, 15 blocks that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And do the exact same on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. After you've done your 15 blocks on each side, your building should be looking like this. Now you want to do um, 15 blocks this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And do the exact same on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now bring it all in. There you go. So that is the shape of your Tesco's. So it's kind of like a, um, like that shape. It's kind of a, uh, yeah, that sort of shape. And then um, this is not actually gonna be the full shape. It We are gonna add other types of shapes onto it when we need it. The interior, I might do the interior, but I'm probably not because you guys can just pick whatever interior you want. Anyway, we're first going to do a big type of archway. If you want a bigger archway, you can just break these um, blocks. But I'm just going to stick with a small archway because this is Tesco's and it's not that good. We're also going to have a, oh, you might want to go one, two, three, four blocks high and go, go up to here. So it looks kind of like, like, um, What's it called a big window so do the exact same on this side one two three four and then bring it over those are going to be your windows so stay for that now you want to have a mini window here you um so go um up to the doorway like that and have another mini window here so it looks like that right now oh, um Definitely do not just do that wrong. <laughs> so it looks like that, right there. So it kind of looks like an opening mouth type thing. 
Next you want to fill in these parts which are kind of like this staying there, you know. Let's go up to the height which your Tesco is going to be. This is the height of which your Tesco is going to be. There you go. That is the exact height. We will add the back in but I first just want to show you what it's going to look like as this is like all the food and stuff and then like over here will be the backspace but I'm just doing it like this because most people might not want to add a backspace in that's popped and that's why I'm just leaving it like this right now. Next you and, and next what you want to do is you want to fill all the squares up to this height so I'm just going to do this on camera I'm not even going to time lapse it because what is their point so yeah okay so basically i might not do the interior because the interior is like a hard bit and then we'll add in some more windows and yeah so fill it all the way up to the height of yeah the thing i also show I'll, I'll just show you a little bit of interior but i won't do like the food and stuff because i don't think you guys will want to see that because then you guys can just interior it however you want. Once you've finished with the um, quartz block things, the next thing you want to do is I'll show you when I finish doing mine. This takes forever. Well, <laughs> while I'm doing this. There we go, so close. Also use smooth quartz blocks. Probably should have said that, shouldn't I? Because people could have used brick. You can use brick, but I, 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 I prefer smooth. There we go. Okay, now that you've done um, the thing, we're not gonna do the roof because I'll show you what we're gonna do for the roof. First, or next, uh, well secondly, you wanna grab some glass panes. So go over and grab the stained white glass panes. Ooh. There you go, and that's what it looks like on the ground. You, you want to fill in your, um, whatever it's called, windows with them. So it, so then it should end up looking like this. You also want to fill in these smaller windows with them too. Also break any blocks which you are did wrongly. There you go. Don't even think wrong is a word. Now your Tesco should be looking like this. Next, we're going to do a pathway to the Tesco's. So you want to get oak planks. So because oak, oak's just way cooler. You also might want to get a car park, so you can pick whatever you want your car park to be. I made this gap because I feel like the car park would definitely go best in this like little gap. But we'll be doing the car park in a little bit. But that's why we have this big square. So now that you have the door entrance, like this, we're just going to unfill out the whole floor and put it into oak planks. This might take a little while. I sound like a robot when I'm talking. Because I'm trying to be like so precise with it. Okay, anyway, I'll see you when I've done this whole floor. Now, all of my floor is done. So you should right now be looking exactly like this. Quite nice with the floor, to be honest. I'm really liking it with the floor, actually. <laughs> and after you did that, we're now going to do the outside. So all you need is to just go up to the line of the, um, whatever it's called, the, the, the quartz. Just go up to the line of the quartz. Try not to break any blocks. If you break any blocks, you know, it's fine. Okay, now you want to unfill this. I can legit do this in seconds, so I'm not going to bother in trying to do it off camera. Once you've cleared out every single bit of floor, which I'm nearly done, boom. Okay, once you've um, got out all of that floor, you can make it bigger if you want. I'm just gonna make it small for now. You wanna get some black concrete. So just type up concrete because you might need other types of concrete. Grab white and the really black concrete. 
fill in all of it with the black concrete and, and then we'll do the lines in a second. If you also want to um, add roads, you're most happy to do that. You can fill in the whole thing quite easily. I normally do lines or normally I would do lines like this, but I'm just going to take it slow. I'm kidding. Supersonic speed, go, oh, okay, go, <laughs> I can't even do it. Okay. Also, leave a comment down below if you want me to build anything else. So, it could be an arcade, because I'm thinking about doing an arcade next, because I need an arcade in this world. So, I'll be happy to build an arcade for you guys next. Me, nearly done. Last few blocks done. Okay. That is the Tesco. You can also add signs here and just to make it look even nicer. Okay, now times for the lines. You always want to leave one gap and just go three down. And then you can make it either too wide. I'm actually going to make it too wide because one wide just does not look good. There you go. So yeah, have it too wide. Kind of like two big teeth sticking out. It's sticking out. There you go. So you got one parking space, two parking space, and three parking space already. Do the exact same thing on the other side. So oh, I keep on doing it wrong. So do um, two spaces in between, and then you've got four parking spaces, like so. So you can keep it like that, or you can add a few more. I'm just going to keep it like that, because I feel like that looks nice. So now that you've kind of done basically the basics to this, we're going to actually add the roof. So, oh, that's a, that's a different, I think that's a different color. <laughs> Okay, you're just gonna add the whole roof and I'm gonna do this off camera and then I'll show you what happens What it looks like after the roof Okay guys, I've now done the roof, but as you can see it looks quite dark in it So the next thing you want to grab is glowstone You could use torches, but I'm gonna be using glowstone Normally they just have it scattered around in the roof So I'm just gonna scatter it around in the roof. You can do two or just one, I'm just gonna do random, you can put it anywhere you want, there's no specific way, just if you see darkness, just put it there. <laughs> and once you've got most of it to be all nice like that, so you can see, just a few places, they are dark, because it's a very big, a big room. Some places might need more glowstone than others. I'm just going to add like a few strips or so in the wall just because I feel like that's cool. Go. You can also add some in the floor because some places actually have floor lights in some Tesco's I've seen. They have floor lights. I'm not going to have them in the wall. Don't actually put them in the wall. So you can have them in floor or yeah, not floor. So I'm just going to add a few more in the floor there. And last one. Boom. Don't add too much glowstone though or else it'll just look too lighted. That is your inside, but I will show you like what you can do in this part, but all of that is free to whatever. I'll show you also the cash registers and stuff, how you can make them. So that is what your thing looks like from the top. But now I'm gonna be showing you what you need to do to make it an actual proper one. Type up concrete one last time and get your red and blue concrete because we're gonna do their logo. So you wanna get it probably actually not there. I'll tell you how where, where you should put it because that's just not a good spot. I was just seeing how big it is. So basically what you wanna do is you want to go four in the middle. One, two, three, four. And put a whole run of quartz all the way down to the end of this line right there. You then want to go three spaces, one, two, three, and do a whole another run all the way down there. Right there. And um, cut them off at the ends, both ends, boom. Now you want to go up two high, so well, three high basically. So, go three high. Oh, 
the reason we have this back wall is I'll show you in a second make everything up to the three height Ooh. when I hold our um, L2 for too long it just gets demolished there you go last little bit then what you want to do is you want to um, put wood all along this line kind of like an underliner and then you want to write Tesco's so first go over three spaces and then write a T there you go and then go um so none of it has to be touching and then write your E I don't even know how to write E's how cool am I how how cool am I make every try to make everything the same height so I'm just gonna do that there we go make it nice and tall and big next one we got the S so I'm just gonna get to the top um, I'm confused wait boom boom there we go when you when you forget how to write S's <laughs> okay so you want to go the exact same height as the E definitely that's the same height um and you want to go so it's three blocks and you want to go down two and you want to go back in and then down and do another line so it kind of looks like a five basically next you want to get your blue go three and then up to the height of the s and then another three across so the reason why you probably like well that's just so small like how is it ever gonna fit i'll show you and then you're gonna do that and go to the same height as the S and then bring it back down. So it's kind of like a Tesco. You're gonna have two Tescos though. So just repeat that same step there. You could just have one in the middle, but I'm feeling like we should have two Tescos because who does not like two Tescos? I love two Tescos. You should love two Tescos, okay? So then you're gonna do it the exact same. So get your T, the exact same height as everything. And then get your E and do the exact same. And then your S. Now, now you know how to do S's. You can do your S. So everything's the exact same. You can just have it in the middle, but I'm not. Because I feel like two Tesco's looks way better. And then you can have it like that. And then your last O can go right there there you go that is your tesco so it's got tesco and then tesco because who does not like two tescos if you don't want two tescos it's fine but we're not done we're not when they're done like if you think we're done i don't even know who you are no we're not doing it on the back disclaimer <laughs> put that all to wood as well so yeah let's follow along and then what you want to do is you want to do a whole white backboard so bring it up to the exact height as your um what's it called as your letters and then and then i'll show you what you can do for the next step i'm doing this in the completely wrong color aren't i oh no <laughs> oh no if you mess up you know we, we all mess up one day you, you know this is like um I, this is definitely I'm definitely professional builder <laughs> definitely not just making this from scratching my head and like just uh you know making two s's I didn't even want to make two s um two tesco's definitely well like okay some people do like two tesco's and there is actually a thing where there is a tesco which legit says tesco twice so you know we're going to be copying that tesco today <laughs> okay fill in all the mistakes we've made because we all make mistakes forgive i'm never gonna hold that white concrete ever again i've already messed up with that white concrete anyway you want to push it all the way up to the top of your letters i think i've already said that like 20 times uh, and now after you've pushed it all up to your letters um you want to go at like one higher because you do want to do the roof so push it up one higher than your letters. So then your Tesco's should be looking 
like this. Oh, two, two away, two away. And now your Tesco's, you want to put it all the way up to the letters. So that section. So that's how like far you want to patty cake it. <laughs> Should I say? Okay. Once you've got it right up to your letters, like so. Like this. Once you've got it right up to your letters like that, what you want to do is inside um, this, this little part, you want to put all of this to white concrete. Not white concrete, I mean quartz. We're not messing up like that again. Uh, and there you go. Also, this is something if you want to add, cause you can add glowstone inside your S's and stuff because then it actually really lights it up. I'm just gonna do it because then it lights it up and thing. Don't like maybe like not add it to your S's, just add it to where you think could look cool. So I'm adding it to my E. I'm gonna add it inside my O. You can just add it everywhere. I'm probably just gonna stick with the O's though. There you go. So you can add it inside your O's and also in the background add um add some light like that too just so everything lights up next you want to get your white concrete and you want to put it up like this on the sides so go back over here and push it up back also up on the sides don't know if I pushed it over here did I push it over here yeah okay after you've done that you you can just leave it like that with the background stuff all you can do is you can um re-put it like that it's really up to you so you can either put it so it's inside and i'm gonna put it so it's inside the reason why i put glowstone is there just in case you guys wanted to have it not glow or glow so you can either have it glowstone or not glowstone I'm feeling like that just looks way better because you have the lighting from the O's if you put the O's in. I would definitely put the O's in just because of this. Because I will turn it to night just like after we finish the whole build and I will show you how much the O's improve the build. Nearly done the second Tesco. Or legit the start of the second Tesco, but we won't talk about that. After you've finished um, all of your Tesco's, like I'm nearly done, I will show you how the build looks like so far. And you will see if your build does not look like it, it does not matter. Um, d don't destroy it if it doesn't look like it, but um, you can just keep it and try to tw twix with it. Okay, that is what your Tesco looks like so far. It will have the flip. Um. Wait, 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 one, one, one second. Um. Is my is my game okay? Oh my gosh. That is a. Uh, um. Some big holes, Minecraft. Uh, oh wow. Um. Go into the, let's go let's go see you guys later oh my who did this no okay well if your uh, minecraft server gets uh um um you know like demanded by the demons uh y you can fix that hole later <laughs> this is what the back looks like quite nice actually at the back and that is what your tesco it should look like from the outside i have no idea who built this somebody built this who built this i built that but who built that anyway now we're gonna get more into the inside but we're not doing this part because no okay so what you want to do no more concrete you want to get um so you want to get either the birch or the oak i'm gonna go for a different color i'm gonna go for the anything which looks like metal bars so i'm gonna go for the um jungle 
and then you like you can pick whatever you want i'm just gonna go in the jungle and then you want to get slabs so i grab the um smooth stone slab and then after you've done that you want to grab the black stone or the polished black stone slab put that like that and then oh okay okay if that's how you're gonna be and then basically you want to put however big your shopping cart wants to be i'm just gonna put my shopping cart this big and then do it like that and then add on the fences the fences might float oh my gosh that's lovely <laughs> oh i'm so amazing yep so this is like one of the baby hold ones <laughs> you can build however your shopping carts want to look i'm just feeling like you know this is the best solution for all of us this sick shopping cart you know like who wouldn't want this you can make different shopping carts i'm just gonna make this one look at that look at that how sick is that shopping cart tell me someone's not sick and yeah um that's how your shopping cart would look so these like these ones are for like the big babies you know definitely and, and definitely not for uh like in just like the little shopping cart it's it's not i swear i swear <laughs> okay maybe i'm not the best at making shopping cards but um <laughs> okay you you can also build the security so get these slabs and then build the security and then grab that there you go and then do the exact same thing with this one are they gonna touch yeah they're gonna touch okay move it one over so now it should be like just like one each like there and then put the glass up there now you have this beauty and then block this off with you know whatever you're gonna use and we use this so then once you've blocked that off and it's looking like a beauty you can now go to doing the inside leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do the inside i don't know if you guys want me to do the inside or not but that is the tesco's so um yeah leave a comment down below and tell me if you guys want me to do the inside of this so you can see it i won't mind if you tell me to do the inside or not i will just show you a few of the cash registers though like what the cash registers look like so the whole so we're gonna have like a paycheck area on its own here so like you know like those paycheck areas so you come in through here and then you come in through here and then you come out through there so this is so you can't get out you can't go through here you gotta go pay and then you go through here that's how it's gonna work so there's gonna be a few cashiers here and a few cashiers here so there's gonna be boom and then like kind of look this is like the um the free pay ones and then like you got like the little side part here where you grab your stuff so then you got the free pay ones like that and then the side where you grab your stuff so you can make like different colors but that's just what it's gonna look like and then i'll show you some beep beeps i'm just doing half subs because that looks the best for the screen and um, yeah you can do that for all of these and then have the side but you always want to make them one like um not like that but i said gonna touch and you don't want them to touch oh okay no we're gonna have you down there and then you can also add like little shopping bags here so i don't know they only have like a color like this so you can add like shopping bags like hooks or you can just add hooks like let's type up hook and you should get a trip wire hook and then you can just put the trip wire hook there because that just adds more detail so you can grab a shopping bag like so so those are the things you can add them more here it really does not matter how you do um it but i'm just gonna say this is how i'm doing mine because i just feel like it looks way better and then you can add trip wire hooks um wherever you feel like it we just can't add trip wire hooks on this because this is not a wall yay i'm just gonna add another glowstone piece there anyway that is what the like your pay room till we'll have like a mini section here i'll like like if i do do the interior i'll show you like this is like a split off section for the clothes and then we'll have like the food in the main part we'll here and then like the tills will be like normal tills will be here
so that's like the layout of the shop so food here um if you guys want me to do the actual in the middle i can do i might just show you a little bit more of the layout i just won't do like more pacific stuff and then you'll have the shelves like this so these are just like the stuff that's like what the shelves is are gonna look like so like those are like the shelves for your tesco's so of course there's good not nothing in the most shelves but i will show you so this is like so you, you basically like in this tesco you'll basically have two shelves which are for show which are going to be these two shelves and then i'll show you the shelves which are not going to be for display and then yeah these shelves the shelves you can make them however you want to, to look i'm making mine different on each so there's more space on some and then in others there's not there you go there you go those are your shelves as you can see those are only um two shelves you can make the shelves however you want but a few i'm just gonna make different because you know they all deserve to be different Oh, okay, I did that uh, kind of differently. Okay, we're just going to destroy all that. And yeah, you can make it however you want. I'm doing it like that because that just looks cool in my opinion. And yeah, you can add stuff, but there'll be like flings if you can't actually add stuff. Yeah, but then I'll show you actually how you can add stuff. So over here, we'll have like a few like actual like food bits. Like, you know, like those like little things where you grab like your food yeah so you can have um item frames or chests in there if you want which will make it way more cooler you can also add this barrels as your shelves so like your shelves will be barrels if you want barrels you know like barrels barrels are cool like barrels are quite cool so yeah you can add barrels i'm probably gonna add barrels because barrels actually look kind of sick though not gonna lie yeah so i'm just gonna add barrels because barrels are barrels you can also add for the refrigerating area um um i'm gonna make it just here you can have some refrigerators i mean y yeah you, you guys know what i mean and then yeah you're gonna have like loaf just on this one more and there you go why do i add one more because there you go and then just there you go so then those are like your refrigerators you can add the buttons so to like open it so you can grab a button as i would definitely do polished black stone and then put them all like that so then those are your uh fridges and then you could have a glass or you could have a barrels whatever you want these are like for like all the fruit and then you can have the ice cream ones so for the ice cream ones i'm just gonna put a big barrel here pick it up here and then those are gonna be for the ice cream ones so then you can type up barrel again and grab it and then you can put anything which looks like ice cream in there yeah uh, so that's like kind of like the like layout type thing of the store um i will show you more this is like part one because i am running out of time and i don't want you guys just to see i could just probably fit it all now in so that's what i'm gonna do actually so now um this is the clothes section so for the clothes section i'm going to show you exactly what to do so a few you can have cooks and a few you can have you know shelves so this one is just going to be full of shelves just here then on this you're also going to have some hooks so it looks like there's clothes on there but then we're going to actually add armor sands next to the hooks so grab a armor stand and you can put the armor stand right next to the hooks and what i'm gonna do is grab a redstone red stone grab the redstone block and then what you want to grab is you want to grab a piston i think it's a sticky piston and then you put the sticky piston and then you get your redstone block of course and we're gonna go boom there you go and we're gonna push oh why aren't they getting pushed in do i gotta ah that's what i gotta do and put the redstone and then put that so then they actually get pushed into the hooks if you can see so do that for every single one 
make it so they're all facing like that oh my gosh can i not get this one in this one's like there we go and then put redstone blocks on all of them once they're now fully in they're now fully on the tripwire hooks you want to take their hands off so you can just go like this and grab all what they're holding now they look like they're on hooks and they're actually like like just in like the middle walls which are quite cool and now you can put anything you want on them so you can put any armor type thing you want on these next i kind of want to do like a gaming part so like like so right here i will show you some gaming stuff you can have so you might want to put a thing like that i think it's like this and then you put down a little man there and then what you want to do is you want to push him into the wall i think that's how it does it i really don't understand how you do it but yeah i think you put like a little like a sticky piston there let me do that can he just can like fine i'll just do it before he even goes there and then you put down the figurine it's not a figure you guys know what i mean the person and then put this back up and then what you want to do is get that so now he's oh my oh my um what did i just do okay anyway he's there he's there you can you can all see him and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on um first so that you got to ah oh, i know how you do it you got to put a roof above him so better stick a piston roof like that and then what you want to do is you want to put this down and then put your person there again and then i'm just doing oh my gosh do i seriously have to do this every single time there we go and then get your wood here okay now after you've done that you want to put this thing above there and now he was like fully inside the ground which is kind of cool and now um wait oh no oh wait no i did it really well wait, wait, wait. and now what you want to do is you want to put aha aha i am smart not smart hmm Hmm, get a chainmail helmet. Oh my gosh, that's not how you spell chain. Get a chainmail helmet, put the chainmail helmet on top of him, and put like a block on top of him, and then you're gonna sticky piston right back up. This is, oh my, okay, bye bye, I'm just gonna go down here. This one is quite a hard task, but it's, 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 it's worth it, okay? You wanna try catch him? Um,. Well, if you can't catch him, you know, it's fine, it's fine, that's how we roll. And then put the sticky piston right there. But don't have that block just yet. Put the figurine, I keep on calling him a figurine. Can someone just tell me to stop calling him a figurine? And then right now, as you can see, he's nearly pushed right up. So you're going to put another block, another sticky piston block. Oh my gosh, can I stop doing that? Okay, he's going to be right there, yeah? And then the sticky piston is underneath him oh sugar there's no sticky piston oh i just can't do this i like this is just like so hard just like why can't i just not do this and then put a helmet on him and then all you have to do is push that there why does he not go up you go into the block anyway if you can't understand that that's what you've got to try to do but it's just not working for timmy it really is just not working for timmy here so if it does not work for timmy it will probably not work for your minecraft character well you can try anyway you can try to make a gaming pc setup there i just tried the hard way um probably gonna cut all of that out <laughs> anyway grab some um like saying that and then grab white no 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 Pr pressure pr pressure pressure oh p i love i love p i guess okay there you go and then grab that and then of course it does not work you're gonna have to make it like that i'm just and then have to do that and then you can do that and then that just shows how cool that is you know 
Okay, there's Steve. <laughs> and then as you can go right there and play on the PCs. So that's like your clothing area. As I said, you can make it anything you want to. I'm just not gonna put anything on there because it's whatever design you want. Um, it's like the clothing area. And then here's going to be the tills. You guys know how the till go. So yeah, um, let's grab. But these tills are different. So mom won't come up to me and say, these tills are gonna be easy. Oh no. Well, okay, they are gonna be easy, but okay. I, you don't gotta do me like that. Put it up so it's like that high, and then you want like a little step so then they can see them, but they flipping can't, which is lovely. I love that. I love it. Because they're like, yep, can I have 20 pounds, please? Yeah, and then you're gonna have the seat here. So that, yeah, you can have to those of your seat there, let's jump on and look at them right in the eyes and then you're gonna have oh my okay you know you can just make it like that you know it's fine fine and then on this top you're gonna have the, that one and then you do like your little tail and then you won't get up say this much but you know it's never just like that and then this is where they end up like collecting their stuff right here because then it goes through this weird machine they put their stuff on this the person scans it and shoves it back through that's what i'm gonna do there you go person gives it to you and then you shove it back through that's how it works and you, you gotta just jump on all the stuff you know that's why the test is so unclean <laughs> anyway that's um and that's like the tills so they they give all their stuff take this take this take this and then they're like okay and then they give it back to you you can also add chest in here if you want um for like the money so i'm just gonna add some chest in here for you yes you can also add chest in for like the money so you can put these back here there you go so this is like what the tesco looks like so far like i it's kind of rushed because i didn't really think i was going to do the interior this is just like if you have absolutely like no clue you you can just do this interior um yeah, this is what it looks like um this is your clothes section and then just real quick just add in a little changing room Yes, a changing room. I remembered that there was a changing room. I was just like, forgot type thing. I didn't forget. I knew there was a changing room. I definitely, I definitely knew. But it just didn't come to my head. Okay, so you wanna put it um, three blocks high and then you want to bring it all the way back over here. And then you wanna add a chair right there and then a mirror it's gonna be a black mirror because those are cool you also then want to grab your hook or you can make it a white mirror whatever you desire i'm gonna keep black but i think white kind of looks better though you know and then of course you can't not put the hook there so you, you want to put the hook there you can put some more hooks there so you can make three hooks and then you, next you want to just get it should just be on your main screen if you go down and then grab the birch door because the birch one is not see-through you can do any door, this day just can't be a see-through one. There you go. So those are legit everything. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Tesco. Um, in my opinion, I think this Tesco is quite cool. And then right next to Tesco, I could be making a cafe or arcade. This could be the cafe. I have no clue though. But it could be a cafe. Anyway, I'm going to go fix that hopefully up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed making your Tesco. Um as much as i did but just before we go we're gonna see how the tesco looks like in um whatever it's called do they like say cool uh, on and then we're gonna make the time ready ready look at that imagine you're just walking past and you see that yeah that that and that's what i'm meaning by the o's make it tons better and then like you're shopping at night time, you know? I'm just gonna grab my little baby cart here. <laughs> and go like a little shopping. I'm gonna go get some groceries. Mm -mm -mm. 
Ooh, I guess I need this. Yes, I need this. I want this, 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 this. They're like, okay, it's 20,000 pounds, and then you give them. They're like, oh, I want these clothes. Let me try them on, you know. Let me try them on. We like this, I like this. Oh my gosh, that's so close to my face. And then you be like, yeah, I like this, let's go. And then you go. And and, and, and then you try to be a thief and steal the MacBooks there, and you go mm, and try to run away. <laughs> yeah, and then and there goes beep, beep, beep. Yeah, that's basically the story. So Tesco, Tesco, uh, that's the name now, Tesco, Tesco. Um, If you wanted to make Tesco, Tesco, there it is, right there. It lights up very, very nicely. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed actually making this Tesco with me. I tried to make it as funny as possible. I tried to make it more skitty. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, Yeah, bye. -bye.